so Bob has a Masonic event today and I was going to stay home, but yeah, obviously I'm dressed. I'm not, I'm not staying home. <laughs> it's, that's okay. Mr. is all dressed up. I have on an outfit, most of which I've made, well, at least half of what I'm wearing I've made. So yay. I do have a ball of yarn in my bag because, you know, while they're practicing or something. And I am bringing my flower bag, because why not? Cause All right, because I need it. All right, I don't have any pockets in this dress, so I need a bag. All right, we're gonna head out. Hey I'll guys. be back. I don't think I vlogged before just now, and it's, I don't know what time is it? 4.02 p.m. Monday, December 11th? Yeah. Um, it's just one of those days, recovering from the vid, you know, you have up days and down days, and yeah. Today, I kind of just had trouble getting myself out of bed and getting myself to do anything, just no energy. Um, but that being said, I did get some crocheting done. I did get some gift wrapping done. I've got this pile of, you can't really see it, but there's a pile of boxes there. Anyway, I'm gonna go put a couple more tags on things and maybe go get the mail if I can make it to the box and back. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. It's Tuesday, uh, 12 noon straight up. Um, and as you can hear, Junior's here for a couple hours. And um, I it wasn't doing 100% this morning. I'm still recovering and um, <clears throat> having issues with fatigue and low-grade headaches. And um, occasionally, the headaches aren't all the time. Anyway, despite that, I got the vlog edited and scheduled for tomorrow. I also enabled a new thing where um, uh, members of my channel can actually view it early. So if you want to be a member of my channel, go check that out. And um, I also got some iOS updates on my desktop done and my phone, which we're filming on, is done. And now my um, newer of my two tablets, the other one's even older than the one... Um, that's here by the sofa. Um, it's updating. The other one's so old it won't update anymore past, past iOS 15 point something. I don't know. But I only use it to read um, Kindle books on, so it's fine. Anyway, Junior can hear that I'm talking to the camera. He's like, Oma, what are you doing? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to focus on that. And then I will be finishing or continuing work on my sweater and the scarf that I'm um, crocheting for my dad today. Hopefully I can get the scarf done today. We'll see. And uh, mostly it depends on how I'm feeling. Um, we're going to try going for a neighborhood walk today. We haven't walked in about a month because of the vid. Um, we might get back from the walk and just sleep but we'll see, but we're gonna try to do that late this afternoon, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. I'll be back. So we're gonna go out for a walk. This is the first time we've done this since we got sick with the vid. Um, I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, good I'll afternoon. be back. Good uh, afternoon. I would say good morning, but yeah, it is afternoon. It's four o'clock, Wednesday, December 13th. Um, I still have brain from having the vid foggy brain and by the way i'm avoiding saying the full word because of youtube algorithms anyway um y'all get my idea uh i woke up this morning thinking it was monday and we forgot to put the garbage cans out mm, yeah so anyway <laughs> um i did watch the grandson for a couple hours although i am still recovering I'm able to watch him for short bursts. Um, 
as long as barring an emergency, which I would do what needs doing, um, we don't move around too quickly because Oma tends to get a little dizzy. But if there was an emergency, you better believe that grandson of mine would be safe. I might be barfing in the corner, but he'd be safe. Anyway, um, I am feeling better, all of that being said. I am feeling a lot better than I was um, feeling even just yesterday. Am I still recovering? Yes. Um, I have discovered that my renewed interest in crocheting and needlework is good because that is something I can do from here on this sofa, which I think I've said already. Um, although deciding to create something that requires precision when you have foggy brain is probably not a great idea. I started this sweater, this sweater. It's a round yoke pattern I've done before. I'll link it down below. It's actually fairly easy if you have all your marbles together and awake. Um, but this has been ripped out a couple times because I keep, yeah, getting foggy brained. Anyway, I did it per the pattern and then after row like four, I did some crochet cables. And then I did the pattern um, as is. Can you spot the mistake row? I am not frogging it again because I've already frogged this thing like four times. But can you spot the mistake row? Because there is one. Anyway, I'm just going to stay there. Probably nobody will ever notice it except me. So you know what? It is what it is. Anyway, it's done with half double crochet in the back loop. Um... I might try it at one point with just regular half double crochet because I'm kind of curious what it would look like. And it wouldn't have this sort of stripey textured effect, but I might like I might like that. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't probably be doing these when you have foggy brain issues. Uh, I also wasn't sure I was going to have enough yarn, but um, I did frog it once because it was too big. And... I don't know why, but anyway, I adjusted the stitch count and now it's just fine. So <sighs> yeah, anyway, uh, Junior went home at lunchtime and I've been working on the sweater since then. I also got the Christmas letter for the cards, which we still have not sent out, re-edited. Bob's going to review it before he comes down for the evening. And if it is okay, I'm going to print it and then I'll take it to go get photocopies tomorrow. Um... Yes, I do photocopies because we sent out, we on, on the regulars, depending on the year and honestly how many people have passed away, um, anywhere between 80 and 125 Christmas cards every year. So I'm going to go make copies because that's too many. Um, did I do anything else? Oh, I wrapped, I did, I wrapped, <laughs> I told you, you guys, I'm forgetful on a good day. Um, I wrapped the rest of the Christmas presents that I had. Uh, Bob has some he has to wrap, but I got everything else wrapped and it is under the tree. One of the things I think I'll do tomorrow is pick up some more gift wrap, stamps for the Christmas cards and the photocopies if I can get him to look at the letter. So anyway, I think that's it for the minute. I'm going to just sit and chill and have some water. <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe another cough drop and um, watch some YouTube. Uh, those of you who follow my adventures with the Artsy Trio, I am sorry that I wasn't able to participate last not, month because we got sick. I'm honestly not sure if I can do the next one or not. We'll have to see how I'm feeling. I have another week or so. I have no idea. I absolutely no idea. So we'll have to see. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I still have to put sleeves on it yet. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. What do you think? Hold on. I would wear it just like this. The sweater over a thrifted men's shirt and some black leggings. I kind of like it. It's a little crazy. The sweater is a little big, especially around the neckline. It's a little big. But you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. So, not bad for something you kind of lost count on a couple of Good morning, times. Good everybody. It's 10.42 a.m. Thursday. 
uh, December 14th. I almost said November. Um, feeling better. Every day is a little bit better. Um, the fatigue, I feel like it's starting to wear off. Um, but the vertigo or motion sickness is, uh, it's intermittent. When it comes, it comes on strong. So I just move slowly. Um, we are obviously in the car. Gotta readjust everything. I've gotta go run a few errands. Uh, we still haven't mailed out our Christmas cards and we need stamps. Um, and I have to go a couple other places, but first I need gas. So, yeah. <sighs> then I'm gonna come home and try to finish my blue sweater. And um, I'm gonna start making notes on patterns I've either made up or adjusted to fit me well, to be something I like. And I'm gonna just start having a notebook. Um, that's not something I ever thought I'd have, but yeah, anyway, I'll work on that this afternoon too. I also still need to write up the Afghan pattern I made while I was sick for patrons. So I'll put a picture here. So anyway, I need to do that still. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, the 15th of December. Although it is late in the morning, it's almost 11 o'clock. I did not long ago get out of the shower, if you didn't notice by the head wrap. Um, but I also got some laundry done. You can probably hear in the background. I actually got a loaf of bread in the bread machine. Like that hasn't happened since before Thanksgiving because we got sick with the vid. Anyway, yes, I'm feeling better. That's a short story to that. So anyway, it's all good. So, um... I am going to just sit and have some water and watch some YouTube and relax a minute. I am recovering um, and doing well. I'm not 100%, but I'm getting close. I still have some shortness of breath and some occasional dizziness. And is it fatigue right now or laziness? It's a very fine line, as my husband said. So anyway... Most of the nausea is gone. I'm happy about that, so. All right, I'm gonna sit for a minute, take a breather. I'll Hello, be I would say good morning, but it's already almost 1.30. Saturday, December 16th, I think. Something like that. Yesterday, I did actually kind of get a lot done. Bob and I are nearing feeling normal. Um, every now and then we'll still have a symptom that'll pop up, but it's much better than it was. Um, I started a new sweater yesterday um, and I also started making notes um, about different patterns, patterns I've come up with, patterns that I've come up with that are based on somebody else's pattern, changes I've made to it to have it work best for me. Um, I finally decided a crochet notebook is a good idea. Right now I'm working with, ooh, Cascade Yarns Eco Duo, which is an alpaca wool blend, super soft, and um, having a lot of fun with that. The kids came over for dinner last night, and yeah, it was all good. Today, obviously, we're in the truck. We're Taz. gonna we're in Taz. We're gonna go run some errands, get some stuff done. Hopefully, tonight we can get our Christmas cards sent out finally. So sign them. Shine them, stamp them, stamp them, all the, all the things. So, we'll see. <coughs> all right, I'll While be back. Bob's putting gas in the tank. I will say that I created some things for the patrons and supporters that I can put in their Christmas cards. Yes, I do send it, them Christmas cards. Um, so that'll happen. Hopefully we'll get all those done today. Um, and I not only still have my designs for sale over at Art Foamies, um, they, I get a commission when they sell them, um, for my designs, but they have a lot of other designers over there too. Really great USA based mom and pop company. Love their stamps. They're especially great for stamping with watercolor paints, fabric paints, 
um, all the things. So go check them out. I'll put a link down below. But I also have some of my old rubber stamps are up for sale. Yes, I get a commission on them over at Rubber Moon. Also a USA-based mom and pop company. No, they're no longer related or connected. Two different owners. So anyway, that all happened and got confirmed this week. Um, also found out that some of the designs from Rubber Moon um, got stolen and posted by somebody on Etsy this morning. I found out. I There's a couple that resemble some of mine, but not super closely. Um, but I know KP had one over there and it uh, looks like they've taken it down, but what the hell people? Anyway, so that's a thing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we have the house cleaner coming tomorrow and this coming week because we're feeling better we'll be doing some babysit sitting so that the kids will be able to catch up on some of their christmas stuff they need to do bob is off of work so he'll be helping me and uh yeah it's all good um but yeah i'm feeling a lot better than i was still not 100 percent, but a lot definitely a lot better so it's all good anyway we are going to go hit a couple places I don't think we're gonna go any place we don't need to go. Um, but yeah, and I kind of would like to go home and work on my sweater I'm working on. Um, but you know, anyway, all right. I think that's it for the minute. Always a challenge at any age and station in life, trying to work your favorite thing of creativity into your daily schedule and your daily life which is why I continue filming the vlog. You aren't the only one struggling with that. I do too. It's a challenge constantly. So I gotcha. Um, and maybe we can help each other out trying to figure out how to do exactly that. Even if it's five minutes. It's five minutes well spent. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna pump gas and then head over to Costco. Yay. Not really, but yay. <laughs> I'll be back. So it's been a week. The good news is we're feeling better. Mm -hmm. And we also, I think, got all the Christmas shopping done today. Did we get much else done? No, mm -mm. not really. We're gonna work on the Christmas cards tomorrow. So that'll be a next week's thing. I did get some knitting done and my new calculations for the round yoke sweater pattern are working out really good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it fits really well. It's only taken me like four times, but you know, fourth time's a charm. Anyway, 
That's it for this week. So don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links, uh, ways to support the free content here on YouTube. I do have a Patreon. Um, I also sell some of my uh, stamp designs through Rubber Moon and Art Foamies. So there'll be links for both down in the video description. Um, yes, I get a commission. Um, what else? I'm about to send out Christmas cards for the patrons. Uh, they mm -hmm. get a little free gift. They will also get a digital download for those who sign up uh, after the cards go out and don't get a chance to get the one from me, you can still download it and print it and all that jazz. So anyway, have a good week, everybody. Enjoy the upcoming holidays. We certainly will do that. It's our first one with the grandson, so that'll be interesting, although he's too young to remember anything. It's fun for us. So anyway, I hope you all have a good one. Whatever holiday you celebrate, have a good one. And um, stay healthy, wash your hands. People, wash your hands. Uh, stay home if you're sick. <laughs> Whether it's the cold or the vid or I don't care. Just don't cough on me. <laughs> I don't want to be sick anymore. Anyway, that's it for this week. Don't forget to go out and have a good week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. He's really not grouchy. He just is tired of me talking. <laughs> Bye, guys.